Oh, it looks like we're ready to go here. Wait. Time. All right, so we have to switch these names here, actually. Uh, just swap. Swap. I think they're just one Yeah, I think so too, but still. Uh, Great movement. Um, I mean, you played him. How does he feel compared to Bonte to you? Um, I feel like I have a much better speed on board. He's doing a lot of the same setups. Right. Um, if you were in circles, he would constantly do the same space no technique. So if he was on the platform and he had a bomb, he would like, throw it up and then jump and throw it up. Interesting. So you're seeing some like patterns at least. Yeah, he's very pattern oriented. Is your mic loud enough or is it not near your mouth? Is that better? Yeah, that's a lot better. Alright, reruns. Uh, Alright, so we're right into it. Bomb? Yeah. Oh, um, wow. Bonze messes up the uh, sweet spot there. I did. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, let us know if his mic is still really low. Oh, and that bomb actually saves him from getting, like, up smashed. Or... So, the thing about Link is if... Oh, this is actually kind of unique. Uh, sort of matchup like this. Because Pika doesn't have... Um, spectacular shield pressure. It's very good shield pressure, right? You can up tilt the shield and usually grab it. Jab, grab it. Turn around, jab, grab. Or if they're on flat, you don't up air, right? Or yeah, or or if, or if they're on the ground, right? Yeah, a lot of uh, good things. Like, Pika doesn't have like you know Yoshi shield pressure, right? You know I mean? So uh, at the other end of that, Link doesn't have any out of shield options. Yeah, his out of shield options are. I think supposedly his fastest thing is. Uh, is he narrow out of shield. It's actually jump. I think it's throw a bomb down at yeah. himself uh, <laughs> or something. Yeah, don't have that option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You uh, you have to like pressure Link to the point where he's gonna want to stay in shield. And uh, nice and tough. Yeah, that was great. Runs off. Him and Puff are similar in that they don't have out of shield options. Right. Pika on the other hand, out of shield. Uh, I don't know if Puff will come, but Pika will be in shield, and he can just he can very easily uh, short hop there out of shield, short hop up air out of shield. And it'll be, oh, oh DI. great DI on that definition. That's the second one that Core tried to use too, so. Dash attack. Pretty even. Yeah, Core's a good Oh, wow, and Bonzo oh. stuff is up B there. So Bonze has options out of shield. Maybe Court with some less options, but Court in terms of spacing has so many so many options to just to keep distance between himself and Bonze. <laughs> and a lot of times it, you know a, a boomerang or a bomb leads to an F smith or an F air or a down air. Oh wow. Oh that was a great boomerang. Kept him off. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. At that percentage, I don't know about that up air. See, like here, like Bonze knows not to run underneath him because he's going to have a bomb going out. It's very hard to approach Link when he has a bomb. There, narrow shield. Save. Yeah, that's great. Nice. Uh, yeah, that narrow shield covered. What, what, what did Bonze hit him with? Like a down air, but on the way up? An air shield? Uh, rise air. No, what did, uh, sorry, what did Core try oh, on shield um, against Bonze? Was it? I think a fall up there. I guess he's gotta, like. I think he was. Maybe he was on the way up. Like, usually if you fall, you can get a, a free grab. Did you see him use that at all? Um, forward air is a confirmed grab. So is down air. I, I never heard down air. Before. Yeah, down air, if, if you land right after you hit shield and you, like, as you're landing, if you don't hit it on the way up, it's a, uh, 
Well, Ward's got a stock lead right now. Uh, this is a peak of back throw. That should be it. Yeah. Pulling the, the bomb over there is so risky. Oh, off, off stage? Yeah. And how did that boomerang? Oh, oh, wow, he manages to get around him. That was a good roll. A very good roll. The back air. Oh, why you gotta be careful with those forward airs. Yeah, why is this boomerang getting cancelled? I don't know, maybe he's hitting between the forward air hitboxes or something? Yeah, it's like, likely. I guess, I, I mean, it's really not the best move to use. Yeah, I would be up Against the boomerang or airing, yeah. Not a peak of player. Oh, oh wow. Oh uh, down there. Still alive. Just wait for that rank to come back. That was a good thing there. He nared, jumped and nared because he didn't know where the boomerang was gonna be. Um and that would have beaten just in case. Yeah, that yeah. would have beaten horizontal and back. Oh! That was so risky. Wow. He jumped into that back air. Ponze on the verge. <gasps> oh, that was such a oh. great recovery. He's so quick when he sweet spots that. Ooh. Jab grab? Oh, this oh. could be it. That should be it. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Ponze. With he got loud right there. Jungle boy. It was a short hop there on the way up. It was okay. It was on the way up. That's what I thought, because otherwise I would have thought Court would have been able to follow up with some more pressure. Three, two, one. But it was good reaction from Bonze to realize that, and know that he could get out that uh, that air out of shield. Oh, I mean that should still be it. Yeah, yeah. you have to turn it around. Yeah, exactly. And that's a you know a great thing Pika can do. If you miss with the air, you've got the back end up there, the cover. Yeah, and it'll turn you around. Which is really good for against Link. I guess Falcon can still kind of recover, but so, Court's doing a good job of fading backwards and avoiding Bonze's uh, drop zone aerials. Oh, but Bonze's. To answer your question, Daniel's asking if they play a lot in Brazil. I know they have played several times. They are like five hours away from each other. Court was saying. Are they? Yeah. The rest of the guys look at Rio. Besides Bonze. Falls up that bear with a grab. A bit tech back toward him by Court. Bonze is uh, a little more than He's jumping to cover tech chase. Right. Um, instead of shield chopping or grab chopping or something. And he's. I mean, because you're not going to really get. Like, there we go. See how much better it is. Um, right. Good drop. Oh, nice. Yeah. But. That jump tech chase is very uh, hard to follow up on. You have to get the read. Yeah. Meanwhile, the grab, you can react much better. Right. Oh, Bonze. What was he just. Oh, did he, did he still have a stock? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Monkey. Really? Bonze's laughing. Really? Let's see. Was Where's he my Lorenzo? Shout out. To the zoo. Oh, Ooh, wow. almost had that there. Mm. The fine. 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 Up. Good there. Falls up the there. He could have had a throw or an air there, right? Yep. I'm so happy once he's doing short hop there out of shit. Why did he not used to do it? No, I, a lot of Pikas don't do it in general. Um, and as much as a lot of Kirby's don't do short hop and air out of shield, it's just not a widely used move, I think, to deal with shield I mean, uh, not widely, not wisely. Okay. Uh, I'm glad to see people do it. Uh, I don't like that, but... Me neither. Ponze purpose to Z-Cancel. So... Bonsai's looked like, I mean, Quartz looked pretty decent once he lands a hit. He's able to follow up. He's got some of this DK tech now. I think DK definitely has some, like, spacing option for his Pikachu. Like, hit, he's so slow, but at the same time, like, his hits have so much hit lag. 
Um, or rather, like, cool down. Ooh, punch. Um, oh, wow. But they have so much range. Yeah, they do. But, oh, then again, it is Pikachu. Yeah, it's, it's true. Not there. Died from an up tilt at a buck 18. Lorenzo was using something earlier. I don't know if they all use this. Like, he was grabbing Pikachu at 0%, forward throwing, and then tech chasing with a, with a punch. And it covers two options. Second place in the way. Yeah. Does it kill too? No, it doesn't. After the forward throw, it wasn't killing. But I, I imagine it might have been like, toward the edge of Dreamland. Oh, oh, wow, and he gets that up tilt out before that down B. And that up B has a, I mean, down B has a frame of invincibility in the middle of it. So, he uh, <laughs> got it before that. Oh, wow. Spotter Doctor. They call it. Oh, oh, that's what? interesting. That, that, that up air didn't, that flat drop up air didn't hit. is so fat. Such a meat bag. This is actually pretty close. Oh, oh my god. god. It's like pulls a shears. Yeah, Suicide Squad. Oh, wow, Starkey says he's seen a punch that covers all. Josuke do a, a punch uh, on platform. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. That's the platform. It's pretty damn big. <laughs> Maybe you could cover all options if they're near the edge, too. If they're tech away, as almost all tech plays, anyway. But it's also Starking, and you can trust anything he says. <laughs> I remember his rule set for doubles today was pretty cool. Or was it your rule set? It's Starking. Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. Did you ever play? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh my goodness, so we got the last stock here. Make four, make three Good stock roll. Make three game comeback to advance the grants. Oh man. Ooh. Uh, so slow. Four throw? Four throw? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, and he's away from him. Back to neutral. Yeah, I thought it back. However, I he had no jump. Oh, that's that's a good. That'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Me and Dark Horse. So Bonte, 3-0. Ford actually looks best, almost maybe with <laughs> that uh, that last match with that DK.